Hi guys, we find ourselves out in our storage yard today because uh, what with the virus, COVID-19 all over the place, we've decided we want to keep the videos coming. And as I mentioned uh, on a couple of podcasts, and I think I might have mentioned it on uh, a video or two ago, uh, we've been asked during the podcasts to talk about what tools we carry in the camper van, how to jack up your camper van, because a lot of camper vans, the wheels are kind of half hidden behind the skirting. So this video today, I'm gonna to show you the tools that we use, okay? It'll be a little bit echoey, because as I say, we're in the yard. Um, Charlie is with me here today, he's just having a good sniff around. I have to keep him tethered because uh, our yard is pretty busy. So I'm gonna take out a table, I'm gonna set out all the tools, and then I'm just gonna have a chat. It'll be a short video. Well, I don't know how long it'll be, because I'll go through the tools that we carry um, and why we carry them, and maybe it'll inspire you to add to your toolbox or maybe cut back on your tools. So I'm just gonna get things set up here and uh, we'll go to the tools now in a second. So firstly, let me show you, I carry some of my tools around in this because it actually fits into the top shelf of one of the presses. Now I'm gonna put them out on the table and then we'll go through what the tools are used for. Okay, so you can see on the table, a selection of screwdrivers, some spanners, some cutting devices like snips and pliers, a selection of tapes, I've got black, red and a sticky back tape, a file, a small junior hacksaw and a small hammer, a selection of torches and Allen keys and hex keys as well. Now, I go a little bit over top on accessories and I'll just show you what they are. Okay, let me show you what I have on this table. I get these little boxes, usually I get them in Halfords. That's a little bit of that's a box of grommets. That's more electrical connectors. That's a box of micro fuses, mini blade fuses, standard blade fuses, a selection of washers, and a good old gaff tape. Another couple of small miscellaneous things that I carry a wood bit, a selection of drill bits, and always have some electrical connectors as well. And then some of the bigger items I carry, a rechargeable electric drill, and a good socket set, which has imperial and metric sockets in it. Handy for when it comes to changing a wheel. Now, let's just do a quick run through of these items individually and let you know what we use them for. Okay, let's get onto these little things. These are standard size blade fuses. Most cars run on them, but I've noticed our 06 camper runs on these smaller mini blade fuses. These are all available, by the way, from the likes of Halfords or a good car accessory shop. Something I've always wanted was an assortment of grommets because when I was fitting the spotlight bar, the light bar in front of the camper and I was drilling holes, I needed grommets and I came across them in a local car accessory shop. Grommets, handy thing to have. Washers. You can't have enough washers and there's about a thousand in this one. Maybe a little bit overkill, but nonetheless, a good thing to have. And then electrical connectors. I happen to have two sets. They're smaller than these ones. You've got your spade, push on, your joiners. Again, smaller ones, larger ones. And then you need that crimping tool that I showed you earlier on. Handy to have. Okay, let's take a closer look at the drill that I carry. This is one that I bought especially for the camper because it's small. I do have a fair size DeWalt drill. But this is a small Black & Decker drill. Has a light on it when you drill. Has the usual forward, backward. You get the tools with it. I carry a couple of boxes of screws and again one or two little spanners. Always a handy thing to have. This can be used as a screwdriver or it can be used as a drill by just changing the buttons battery charger thing. I think it was about 30, 40 euro, but it's definitely worth having 
one of these in the camper and as you can see by the size it's tidy enough closes up that actually fits under one of the beds other stuff i carry by the way i've got a four ton trolley jack instead of your normal little small jack in case we get a puncher but i'll show that to you in a future video about jacking points on a camper van i also carry some cable ties and a soldering iron which were just too packed away to get out okay so let's take a look at the socket set that i have now i have this socket set gosh i must have it nearly 20 years i used to use it when i was into the classic minis so it's imperial and it's metric and you have all of the assortments you've got your extension bars three of them there little bits you've got for remember for taking out your spark plugs and then this one is the one that i use for wheels on the camper van so you've all imperial here all metric here and i must have a 20 years a socket set i think is a handy thing to have in a camper van it doesn't have to be this elaborate but it is a handy thing to have and then of course it closes up i did lose one of the catches here closes up nice and small and it slips nicely into the camper van so there you have it the selection of tools that we carry in our camper van uh, i might be a little bit ott and the likes of the screwdrivers or spanners but it's better to have it there than to actually go looking for it or have to go and buy one or be stuck out in the middle of nowhere and not having the correct uh, tool to do the job thank you for watching your man has been here thank you for watching charlie and me can i remind you to subscribe to the channel and click on that bell we get back to reviewing campsites and uh stopovers as soon as this coronavirus moves on and don't forget to podcasts with myself and chris again from charlie and me take care and we'll talk to you very very soon